the debate happened this week. The uh, first one. The first presidential debate with Donnie Trump and Joe Biden. Uh, how do we feel about Donald Trump paying $750 in federal income tax? I feel good that I made more money on paper than Donald Trump's business did. Think, but it is that fascinating that our tax policy allows you to carry insane amounts of losses over year by year. We need to bring rates down and to simplify the structure and also stop allowing these giant losses. If your business is losing that much money, maybe it shouldn't be rewarded. Right. It's accounting it accounting companies that are that are lobbying. That's that's one of the reasons why we haven't had a good tax. Oh yeah, code yeah. Into into what's right. actually one of the biggest captors of our tax code. Yeah. They don't, they don't want any changes because they want it to be complicated, they, so you have to use their programs. Yes. Right. They so let's put on – let's put everybody – take – for a moment, take – put on your idealist hat. Everybody ready? Okay. Um, <laughs> we have a simplified tax code. Everybody – you know, it's a scaling one or whatever with that nice little bucket thing where the people at the bottom uh, pay a little bit, but as you make more income – Progressive. It progress, yeah, yeah. It's progressively more when you get into a different income bracket. Uh, and it's just flat, and it's, there's not super complicated rules. That's what we're aiming for. What do you think the path to something like that it actually is? What okay. do you think it practically looks like? Not, I think the first step yeah. is going to be taking steps against industry capture. And filibustering. And filibustering. What is yeah. industry capture and filibustering? Uh, industry capture is essentially where – uh, regulatory agencies are staffed or often run by people that used to work for or lobby for the industry they're supposed to be regulating. So a really good example is the FCC, right? Uh, they're headed by Ajit Pai, that's yeah. his name, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. And he used to what, be a super high up at Comcast, mm -hmm. and he came in and just immediately was like, we're Head getting of rid of net neutrality, we're doing all these things. So that's industry capture. helped Comcast. Gotcha. Well, basically <laughs> people that are whatever. put into yeah. positions of power to make changes that actually like keep business from going and then to overboard are then, yeah, then immediately after they working for them. Then immediately after the regular leaves they go back to industry to Usually get another lobbying. payday. Yes. Who would have the power to Congress institute. would have to pass that. Okay. They would have to we have to yeah. regulate like you couldn't have worked in the industry before and after. And so it's, in theory what we would do is cultivate our own regulators from the beginning of their careers and let them and keep them throughout their whole careers as a regulator and not have them cross over to industry. And, and I also think a big step would be a reduction in, in the amount of lobbying that we have and the amount of, of power that they're able to exert through, through money. And like that's I think, it's, I think it's too much. That's a constitutional issue potentially because right. of Free the Supreme Court. And, and the Supreme Court. Citizens and United. And yeah, like. I really don't like Citizens United. But, um, I would love but, to see that go away. But you that's would have to – soccer yeah. team, right? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that's the soccer team. <laughs> So just to recap, you said the first thing was called when someone jumps industry, from industry capture. Industry capture. Industry capture. Yeah. Love that. The second mm -hmm. one is called I would, lobbying. Lobbying. Yeah. I would propose filibuster reform. Filibuster reform. Yeah. Can, yeah. can we dive into that real quick? What does yes. that mean? So in the Senate, this is a historic – it's entirely a rule issue in the Senate that to pass anything – you had to have 60 votes. And so that allows the minority to stop anything happening in the Senate. But what it really does is that it allows politicians to avoid passing anything. So if you're a conservative Republican, it prevents you from actually having to pass your own agenda, which you know was unpopular. And same for liberal Democrats. Um, it allows moderate Democrats to not pass the agenda. So it, essentially it freezes the Senate in like stasis forever. If What do you think is the percent, just to end cap this conversation, uh, percent chance in the next 20 years we move away from the H&R block into its software system to, hey, everybody, we're just going to do a flat tax and the government's going to just send it's you It's fairly close um, to zero. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I would say it's low. Like, I think there's enough people that, that want to do it or are, like, willing to push for it that it's not it's, – I wouldn't say it's zero. Oh, no, that's not zero. But Nothing's like, impossible. it's rare just because well, – because it would be such a big change. Mm -hmm. I mean, with all the big, you know uh, – scandals that have come up recently about the amount of peop money that people have hidden here and there and and how little people are paying taxes like if, if that hasn't already spurred action I, I don't know what else we could really see that would yeah. really spur that action and that outrage
Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure you like it. Post a comment with your thoughts. We'd love to hear what you're thinking and jump in the comments, have a little argument with you. If you want to argue with us, that'd be great. Uh, also, if you could share this video, if it resonated with you and you think it could help other people, that would be fantastic. Guys, if you would like a will, estate plan, or just about anything else regarding end of life, legacy, preservation, uh, give us a call at 404-939-7562 or send us an email. Um, it is info at modernestateplanning.com or post a comment and we will help you there too. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.